Hello there, my name is Shireen. Um, to those of you who are actually looking at this for the first time, uh, what I do is I cover business studies um, in very short, um, tiny or less than five minutes, or at least I hope to achieve it within less than five minutes of uh, materials for you to go through so that you'll be able to quickly just um, you know, browse through the videos and go through just specific areas that you need in a short span of time. Um, I've just completed chapter one, which is enterprise. And um, before I move on to chapter two, I thought it would good would be a good time to actually cover a little bit on the format of the exam and how to answer exam questions. So today, um, let us just do that. So we all know that answering exam questions um, is the terrifying part for some of us um, and so I hope that I'll be able to just give you a bit of tips here and there on how to answer your questions better and um, what we're going to look at uh, in this video today is uh, focused on the lower level skills so if you're familiar with business studies we have knowledge application analysis and evaluation however for this uh, short video today we're going to look at just the lower levels, which are um, knowledge and application. Now, let's start with knowledge. Um, what does knowledge really mean? So you get questions all the time and you don't know what should I put it, put, how should I answer this question? Well, basically, you the fact that you're answering the question is knowledge, right? Um, how do you gain marks for knowledge? You need to know what are the different business terms and um, how to define them. The next question would be, do I have to memorize the definitions from the textbook? The answer would be no, it's not necessary to memorize. It's more important to understand what you have learned and put it down in your own words. Yeah. So let's look at an example of a question. Define added value and provide one example. And this is worth three marks. Now to define added value, you would have just used a definition similar to this. It's the difference between the selling price of a finished good and the cost of the raw materials used to make it. So there you go. You would have marks given for the knowledge portion, right? But have you actually defined the answer or would you be able to actually gain all three marks? Now, what could be lacking is the application or the example that was requested in the question. Okay. So as you can see, application is basically a way to show the examiner that you're able to apply what you have just learned. You know what added value means and you know how to apply it right? by giving an example. Now, application is also found in um, case studies. right? If you have a short text where you have to um, answer questions that follow, you will need to use some facts from the case study to show that hey, this is where added value was mentioned for, and this is the example for it, or, or, or the context, or the business context, you know, what is it all about? You may be able to apply that in your answer. I will go a little bit deeper in terms of application in the next video, but for now, let's look at this question here, um, and how do we answer this question with an application as well? So, the answer is added. All right, so the knowledge part remains the same. Added value is the difference between selling price uh, of a finished good and the cost of raw materials is used to make that's used to make it. For example, increasing the selling price of a pen to reflect its attractive packaging or, or and its new functions. Maybe that other pens could not do, and this pen does it, and therefore added value is defined as that by giving in an example. So with an example, it makes it clearer. Furthermore, the question did ask you about providing an example. So that is an application portion part of the question as well. Yeah, let's move on. Now let's look at some examples of questions that looks at knowledge and application, right? So you may try one and do this on your own. Um, briefly explain how entrepreneurs could benefit your country. So briefly explain how entrepreneurs could benefit your country. State 
two aims of a social enterprise. Note that I've highlighted some words in red, so you could tell the difference between state and briefly explain, right? State two aims is basically, well, just list, <laughs> list it out, yeah? Third question, explain what is meant by the triple bottom line. Explain what is meant by triple bottom line. Explain the difference between a charity and a social enterprise. Identify three challenges of an entrepreneur. Define opportunity cost and provide one example. Now let's look at the marks for each question so it gives you a better idea as well. Right, so you have one, two, three, four, five, six questions. And if you are able to do that right now, maybe you would want to add on to say which question has, uh, you, do you need to apply both knowledge and application or just knowledge? So let me help you here. Knowledge and application for the first question, knowledge for the second, knowledge for the third question, knowledge for the fourth question, knowledge for the fifth question, and knowledge and application for the last question. Now, the knowledge questions that you can typically see, for example, stating two aims of a social enterprise worth two marks is basically just stating the obvious. What are the two aims, right? It could be, uh, you know, environmental, uh, you know, uh, it can, uh, is uh, you know, profit oriented and things like that, right? Uh, explain what is meant by a triple bottom line. You know, there are three objectives, right? Or the triple bottom line is actually the three objectives of the social enterprise. And you would need to actually elaborate it of each objective properly. Therefore, it is basically uh, explaining or just uh, defining what uh, triple bottom line is. Explain the difference between a charity and a social enterprise. It's quite a clear-cut question as well. You're going to just uh, compare apple to apple. All right. Or uh, what are the differences between charity and social enterprise? Where do where are they set apart? All right. So you got to explain that. Identify three challenges of an entrepreneur. Identify is basically listing out what are those three challenges. All right. Uh, for three marks, so it's basically one mark each, all right? And the final question, define and provide one example. So you have it for three marks, so you've got to have your knowledge and your application in your answer. So all the best as you try to attempt this, uh, these questions. You may want to note that all of these questions are from chapter one of enterprise, which I've just covered in my first set of videos. So if you do need help, just go back to those videos and browse through and see um, which one do you need to look at again. I hope you were able to follow what I've been trying to cover in this first uh, format or examination skills video. Um, please feel free to visit the blog for more reading materials. And um, till I see you again soon. Have a great day.